Okay, and to set up the firing sequencer, all you need is two programming block, two timers, and that's pretty much it. And then we go into here, edit this, browse workshop, and load up the firing sequencer code. You'll notice a couple things that are worth noting. Firstly, this one is the name of the clock that keeps it running. And then this one is the toggle that uh, you can use to switch the weapons back into normal mode when you don't want to use the sequencer. And this is the name of the weapon that you're planning on using, as well as the specific timing, which is specific to that weapon. I've included a few presets available to work with here. And uh, for this demonstration, we are going to be using the large ship Gun. So I'll just copy that name and put it right over here. And then I will also copy the number. Be sure to include the F. And put that there. And that is pretty well everything you need to do to set up the code. These are just default names, you can change them to whatever you want so that you can have multiple sequencers running. And just hit remember and exit. And then wait for the thing to freeze apparently. Nice. GG game. Okay. And now go to the first timer block, change its name to Sequence of block on the other one. Sequencer toggle. Now if we go into sequencer clock, set up the actions. This just goes to the program block and runs at the code with no argument whatsoever. then to go and place our weapons. You can place as many weapons as you want. But you know, this thing gets really fun if you place a whole bunch of weapons, I find. So that's what I will do. Let's try how about 512. That sounds like a decent number. And then we go into here, and we should just be able to, oh yes, um, be sure to hit remember and exit every time you add guns to your ship, otherwise they will not register within the system. Now we can hit run, and it will be running around doing its thing, and we can place down our thing here. Go in, select our weapon, and it will fire off at a ridiculous fire. And to demonstrate what the toggle does, if we go over to that, sequencer toggle, and we can just do that. And if we switch it off, all fire normally. And then we can just switch that back on. Of course we have to wait for all the weapons to reload, which is why I invented this thing in the first place. There we go. That's pretty well everything there is to know about how to use the firing sequencer.